everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a spring skull staples video. I did a video a few videos back with Venus, kind of trying to share leg confidence and it was all about embracing your legs because in spring summer it's time there where we have to wear less clothes. Now I do worry about my legs but not so much anymore thanks to the kind of tips I've reinstalled and if you, if you still need that extra push, then definitely go and have a look at the leg confidence video I have already done. Now, I've already got a lot of great feedback from you guys, and a lot of you shared um, your pictures of me with the hashtag walk, your pictures of me, the pictures of you with the hashtag walk taller, and just showed off that you had your bare legs out, which I am so proud of all of you guys for doing that. And because the video went so well, and a lot of you, it really helped, Venus wanted to do another video. And a Style Staples video isn't really out of the ordinary, so I thought why not combine the two and further kind of chat about leg confidence as well as just all of my Style Staples. So I've got five spring Style Staples, all under different categories. So the first category is the leg bearing outfits. Now as you may be able to see, I have my little razor over there. I'm already, I've only got it there because it smells brilliant. It's basically like a candle. Um, but it's the new Venus and Ole Sugarberry Razor. It smells like red berries, but sweeter like femininely. It generally exfoliates while you shave and the Olay Moisture Bars lock in moisture. So if you're worried, if you get dry skin, I get dry skin, then you know, it's all good because it's gonna keep the moisture in as you shave the legs. So hopefully now you're feeling more, I wanna embrace the legs so we can go on to our first spring style staple. The main trend here is kind of the A-line skirt. They're really flattering for a wide variety of body shape. I'm sure you all know A-line skirts just kind of go out like an A. And the skirt. The skirt has become massive ever since kind of winter. And now because it's spring summer we can experiment more with monochrome and bare legs and pastel colours with bare legs. So leg bearing outfits is definitely a style staple for me in spring. Specifically for 2014 I am going to say A-line skirts and the skirt. The other leg bearing style staple that I absolutely am loving at the moment is midi skirts. They show only kind of a slight bit of leg so if you are Still, if you, like the first time you embrace your legs, maybe go for a midi first and then you can kind of think, hey, this is actually Next okay. up is dresses. Now, dresses for me are a style staple throughout the whole year because it's, it's just a dress. Um, but for spring 2014, the trend that I've been seeing in a lot of the magazines and just from viewing different people's vlogs and things, are kind of elegant and romantic kind of dresses. So chiffon material, um, pleats, floral patterns, pastel colours, just quite elegant dresses that you can imagine wearing with kitten heels or just just that you can go and have a world whirlwind romance on holiday. Which we all would Third like. spring style staple is jackets and layers. I think the trend for coats is just kind of the classic structured um very timeless coats and jackets and things. Um, another thing that I've been seeing a lot recently and enjoying myself is pastel leather and just kind of leather jackets that are very suitable for spring summer. So I have a pink and spring white style one. staple number four is accessories. We all need a bag in our lives. I've been loving small bags that you can just hold by a little handle, kind of like a lunchbox. Every single shop has bought out a little bag of some sort. You can get little satchels, um, little kind of camera looking bags, crossbody bags, and um, clutches with little handles. I just think that small bags are absolutely adorable. So the sun is somewhat out, so we need sunglasses. Again, the cat eye sunglass is right back again, and I've got this pair which have a pink frame, and then the metal hardware to the sides are rose gold, and this just gives off a really cool um, 60s vibe, which I really love. And then I've also got this pair which the actual shades themselves themselves kind of fades out into an ombre effect and round sunglasses are just a, a timeless forever trend. And finally the fifth spring style table is shoes. We have to have a bit of shoes. Now the trends that I have been seeing are very much pointy flats, pointy heels, the minimalist heel, um, skater shoes and cleated platforms. But my favourite at the moment is just all things pointy. Now I have my beautiful, beautiful friend Arabella to blame for this. She's from the blog ArabellaGolby.com. I'll leave her below. She's literally, literally like this. But anyway, she's just the most elegant, beautiful, classic person I've ever seen in my life. Every time I see her, I feel like she's just walked out from 
a 1940s movie or something and she wears pointed shoes all the time and I'm like I need to get on this pointed shoe bandwagon so I've been loving those and plus points just elongate your legs so if you're still a bit self-conscious about them um, then pointed shoes are the way to go and of course any type of heel will make your legs look slimmer and longer um, which is just an added bonus really for embracing your legs and those are my spring 2014 style staples I really hope you enjoyed it now if I have forgotten any spring style staples or if there is kind of a group of things that you think, Becca, you've forgotten this. This is a must for me during spring. Then tweet me your ideas with the hashtag walk taller um, and I'll retweet the ones that I think, yeah, I have actually forgotten those. And then I will add them in on my blog post. And the blog post adjoining to this video, I'll leave down below as well. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you next time.